Hey y'all, it's a Wednesday night. I want something really, really nice for dinner, but I don't want to put a whole lot of effort into something really, really yummy. What I'm gonna do for you today is some chicken pinwheels and some baby broccoli. <clears throat> Boy, there's some good, good groceries. This chicken is stuffed with spinach, mozzarella cheese, some provolone cheese, some Parmesan cheese. Y'all, boy, it's gonna be something else. But first off, we gotta get this chicken prepped, okay, y'all? So first things first, we wanna get uh, some chicken breasts of your choice. I like this brand here. And what we wanna do is we wanna butterfly it, okay? So just take your knife, just kinda run down the, down the edge of it, okay? And just kinda open it up about halfway through. Flip it and then just kind of slowly take your knife and just kind of lay it out, lay it out flat, all right? Do this to all your chicken pieces. All right, now that you got all those sliced, now it's time to pound these thins. Butterfly chicken, put it in a gallon baggie, all right? Take your meat hammer. Uh, in this instance, it's my Dial Strong War Hammer and just kind of pound it thin. Don't get too crazy because you don't want it paper thin. You just want it easily to work with so you can stuff it, okay? Just do that with every piece of chicken that you have, all right? Get you a saute pan, get you a tablespoon of butter, get that on about a medium heat, medium, medium high heat. Add an eight ounce bag of spinach and saute that around, okay? Until it gets wilted. Add a little bit of salt, eh, half a teaspoon, and some cracked pepper. Add about a one to two cloves of garlic. I'm using this paste. It equals about one to two cloves. Just let that cook. Don't let the garlic burn because it'll be gross. <clears throat> right at the end, I want to splash it with a little bit of red wine vinegar. Yummy, yummy. Gives it a little tang. I like to do this with all my greens. So this mixture, I wanna add this to my bowl. I got half a block of cream cheese. I'm gonna add about three to four tablespoons of Parmesan, about a half a cup of mozzarella and provolone mix. Use whatever cheese you like, really. And stir that well, okay? Once you're done with that, it's good to kind of let that chill because that mixture is really, really loose at this point. Uh, so I stuck it in the refrigerator, let it chill out for just a little bit. Now it's time to fill this chicken and then we roll it. So for each one of your breasts, you want to make sure you season the chicken. I'm using some Heath Riles garlic butter and then some Mike Lowry's. Everybody say it with me, Mike Lowry's. Season on both sides really well. Now put about a quarter cup of that mixture on, spread it all over each breast. Now just roll it up. Uh, you don't have to be real tight. You don't have to be a real tight roll, just, just somewhat of a roll, all right? Now, what I do after this, I store these chicken breasts in the fridge for uh, at least 30, 45 minutes. You wanna make sure everything just kind of sets up, it makes it easier to cut into pinwheels later on. Here's what we got. We got these lovely chicken. We're gonna cut these uh, into pinwheels so we can cook them on the Blackstone. All right, so we got our chicken here. Now, you just wanna take a nice, sharp knife, all right? So now, the ends right here, I mean, you can make those, but they're, they're not that pretty. So you just wanna come here, try to get you so you can see it. Just come down, and there you go. Chicken pinwheel. But uh, don't go too thin either. I would say maybe half inch. All right, so there you have it. Our chicken breasts, they're cut. Again, just take your time. Uh, and, and again, it's not going to be perfect, uh, the rolls, you know, because every piece of chicken is kind of different. So don't worry. It'll be awesome. It's going to turn into some good groceries. I guarantee you. All right, y'all. We're going to get to cooking now. Got our uh, black stone. We got it pre-warmed. Uh, you're going to want temperature wise, you know, around 375, 400 degrees here or there. Don't want it too hot. But you also don't want it too low that your chicken's just gonna sit there to be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? So that's just chicken for the kids. I don't really care for this. So we're just gonna come in here. I'm gonna avoid not touching these. So just come in. You know, the filling on this can be whatever you want. Uh, I did some kale not long ago, uh, kale and spinach. Did, did so good, did really good. Just gonna let those hang out, okay? Now, I didn't allow enough room for my broccoli, but that's okay. It don't need much. So I got a package of, this is baby broccoli. I get this from Lidl. And I'm just gonna come in here, lay these dudes down. That broccoli moved around with the, uh, with that butter. Now it's okay if it touches that chicken, okay? And there's gonna be some people. It's okay. The chicken and the broccoli is gonna be okay. Like I said, I should have I should have planned out my my spacing a little bit better than what I did, but I didn't. You haven't tried this broccoli? Did I salt that broccoli? No, I didn't. Let's salt this broccoli. A little salt. A little salt. A little pepper.
broccoli loves pepper. Trust me. Your spatula is going to have a little bit of resistance because that cheese is melting, but it's okay. Look at that. Perfect. I'll start putting some of this over here. That's what you're looking at, especially right there. That's beautiful. Look at that. yes. Just keep on going. So what I'm out also going to do with this broccoli, I want to take my nifty little, oh, there we go, a little bit of steam action here. Just like that. We're just going to steam that broccoli. It's going to be awesome. So I'm upstairs right now, off the kitchen. Um, this is what we're going to have for dinner. I thought, you know, let's change it up a little bit. Let's get a little spicy. You know what I'm saying? So why not come up here and shoot? I don't have all my lights. Don't have any of that garb. I need to get something on the table for the wife and the kids and myself. So here we are. We're just going to give these one more flip. And they're done. Chicken don't take long at all to cook because it's so thin. No big deal. Now, let's check on our broccoli. Woo wee boy, yeah. Broccoli's done. I like it al dente. Kind of has a bite, little bite, little crunch to it. Perfect. All right, we'll start getting this chicken off. It's done. Now let's finish up our broccoli and we're done. It's got a nice little char to it. Now I'm just gonna take, take some butter, a little bit of butter, and I'm gonna take a lemon, half a lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze that lemon over that. It's gonna make like a little lemon butter sauce. It's gonna cook it right onto the griddle top. Beautiful. I'd say dinner's done. That's some good groceries. Good, good groceries. Just all it is. Good for you too. Let's give it a try. Give it a try. I want one with a little bit of everything. That right there is it right there. Yeah. Got a little bit of spinach, a little bit of cheese. Mm. Oh man. Mm. It's kind of like a spinach dip rolled up with chicken. That's good aggression. Chicken's tender. Seasoned perfectly. It's not overly seasoned, it just works with the chicken. Baby broccoli. Mmm. Mmm. Love that lemon. I taste that pepper. Very al dente. Still got a crunch to it, which I like. Y'all give us a try. You'll love it. I guarantee it. Y'all, there'll be another video right here. I want you to check it out. I promise you, it'll make you a griddle pimp.